Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Amity here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time here, yeah, welcome. This one is actually straight from Mr. Vivek Rawaswami page. It says early morning mayhem and plenty of fireworks when Vivek Rawaswami appears on CNN with a dawn lemon. Guys, after Breakfast Club, this interview is my best, my second best of Vivek Rawaswami. Of course, this was actually my second introduction to him and since then I've been in love with the guy. Like he's He's so cool. He's down to earth. He's honest. He knows his onions. He knows what he's saying. He says what he means and means what he says. Like, I love the guy. Well, let's check out the video, guys. Joining us now, a frequent guest on Fox News, Republican presidential candidate and tech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy. So, we are happy to have you. I'm going to talk to you more than just about Fox News, but good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Glad to be what here. do you make of this uh, decision to settle this case? I mean, it seems strikes me as a cost of doing business. If you're going to be a news network, I think it's happened to CNN. I think it's happened to a lot of news networks. That has not it's a happened cost to doing business. That's not happened to CNN. This is never been sued for defamation. Never been, never not, been actually this, settled. This is the largest it's, it's definitely in large history. And, and Fox appears to have the largest viewership in the market capitalization. So I'm not familiar with the details of this case. I'm actually more interested in issues relating to this country than disputes with media companies. But I will say that it strikes me that from but you know, you're, not familiar, honest, you're not familiar with the case. You're not familiar with the lies about the 2020 election, about the election being stolen, that Dominion was somehow, you know, uh, fixing the votes. I mean, that's why they seven hundred eighty seven point five million dollars. You're not familiar with that. And you're running for president. The details of a private dispute between a commercial dispute and the details of what the dollar it's figures are. That's not where I spend, it's not that, that's really not where public. I spend my time. But, but what I will say is, look, there's defamation cases. People settle businesses. If you settle business disputes, Fox settled this one. It's actually not, I think, the pressing issue for the nation. of For the audience at the NRA, here, here's what you said, um, referring to back to 1865. Here it was. I want you to raise your hand if you know when the first anti-gun laws were passed in this country. Raise your hand if you do. 1865. You want to know when it happened? We fought a civil war in this country to give black Americans the equal protection under the law that we failed to secure them in 1776. But then you want to know what happened? Southern states passed anti-gun laws that stopped black people from owning guns. The Democrat Party then as and now wanted to put them back in chains. Then as and now, that's quite an accusation about the current Democratic Party. Who and what were you referring to? I was referring to Joe Biden and his expression of wanting to put them back in chains, dating back to Lyndon Johnson. I think Lyndon Johnson's so-called Great Society was one of the greatest misnomers in American political history, where even back then in the 1960s, 70 percent plus of black kids were born into two parent homes. Today, that number is less than 30 percent in the opposite direction. The very policies that we implemented in this country in the name of helping black Americans have actually been disastrous for black Americans and all Americans. And I think so that that's something that we need to wake up to. In 1865, you were talking about the black codes, right? That's right. Passed, enacted to make it a crime for a black person to carry a gun exactly. in the South. But you're equating that to the current president? You're referring to economic chains? What are you saying? Well, I, I was referring to Joe Biden's, I think, ill-chosen expression to say they're the party that wants to put you back into chains. What I'm actually saying is that if you look at the policies you of the modern Democratic that about Party. Democrats. Absolutely. So. What I'm saying is that actually it's policies like that of Lyndon Johnson and Joe Biden that are actually holding black Lyndon Americans Johnson's back. Lyndon Johnson's the war on poverty? Yes, and in particular his great society where he actually created incentives in the family where if you're a family you could actually get more money by not having the father in the home. What, Guess what you get? Of, you get what you pay of, for. What, I think it's been really bad for the black community. I think it's really bad for all Americans. What Do you have anything on this before I move on I, to I China? Just, I don't see what one has to do with the other, but... Go on. I took up a lot of time with Fox. Oh, no, it's Day. fine. We have time. I, I, don't, I don't really see what one has to do with the other, especially consider and using the Civil War to talk about Black Americans. That war was not fought for Black people to have guns. That's 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 not. That war was fought for Black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah. Actually, that's why the Civil War was fought. Okay. And the sad that part wasn't about fought it. Fought for for Black people to have guns. I think. Actually, you don't know. Funny fact is, Black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's but, one of the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. I okay. disagree with you. I, I think okay. you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. 
by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have the quality of the law. Skin, and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we have three I, different shades John, of I think we have to be able to talk about these issues in the open, regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, absolutely have equal rights in this country. I think to compare to 1865 and I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African American. I don't want to sit there and argue with you because it's infuriating for you to put that to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your, what, what, your what part thinking, of the history was wrong? What, 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 what part of the history, history was wrong? That the Civil War was fought. You're making people think that the Civil War was fought for black people, only for black people to get guns and for black people to the have The Civil War was fought for rights. black people in this country to get freedoms, a noble mission. And I think that it, even yes, after, right. even after we succeeded, to, to we had to actually secure those freedoms. It, to reduce it in a speech at the NRA to say you're making people think or you're trying to say that black people uh, to get guns, that was, that, that was the reason that you're there at the NRA. That was the reason for, uh, for the Civil War. It I is think a that's fact. reductive. It's not and reductive, I think it's Don. insulting. There are a whole plethora insu- of reasons that I, for look, the Civil with War. With due respect, I find, I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans, to say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of the Hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second black Amendment rights have, were secured. They were not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War, and, and that things turned around. People would, tried to change the freedoms that were supposed and to And you know how they the got it? They got their Second Amendment rights, and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the five... The NRA did the, not play a big role in that. Absolutely, they trained that black Americans how to use firearms. That, that's a lie. That's that, not. The NRA actually, did not play a big role This in is that. just historical fact. It's but not a historical the, fact. The, the part that I just find... because you say it's historical fact. The part that I find insulting is when you say today black Americans Americans don't have those rights after we have the gone through that civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the, the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's and where I you and I have the a different freedoms point that of view. black and white that black people don't have in this he, country here, and that black people do have. Well, here's country. where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man. It's insulting that you're me sitting regarding here, you as a fellow citizen. That you're sitting here, whatever ethnicity you are, Explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, I'll what tell it's you. like to be black. Whatever America. ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this on debate. On the content of the ideas. If you do it, you should do it in an honest way and in a I fair way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Okay? It, with, but with, we appreciate you coming on. With Thank due respect, Don, I look Thank forward to continuing that conversation. We'll Thank you. The conversation. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Pop. We'll talk about China. Yes, let's talk about China. Next time you come back. Oh, thank you. Much to say on declaring independence from China. Okay. Something you can add on now, please. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, you know what the anno- most annoying part of this interview was? He started up, uh, started up literally asking the guy irrelevant question. What was my what's his business who what Fox News and CNN News the uh, settlement they're having? Like, come on, is that what is plaguing America? Ah, and the disrespect. What? <laughs> Somebody said when CNN gives um and, and this person said uh, uh, when CNN gives you lemon, Vivek makes lemonade. <laughs> Ah, ah. Oh my god, I love that. Like, literally, like, I love it. And, like, he got a dose of his own me- medicine. Like, come on. Can you learn to be a professional? Like, I, I seriously hope he has learned his lesson when he goes on the next job. If his ego will allow him to go hunt for a next job. I think, and, fact, guys, the, I think he should have been become like Tucker Carlson if he has, if he has what it takes. What do you guys think? Do you think, um, Don Lennon will become the next Taka Kassel because Taka Kassel has gone, has, he has gone private and he, look at how he's, well he's doing. He's doing so well. Well, let me know your, your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and take care of yourself, guys. Bye.